darlings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Raven. I believe this is the very first red lipstick that I ever bought in my entire life. And I like to play with makeup. Those things are totally related. A little different than my normal fun facts. But anyways, whatever, we're moving on. If you're curious, this lipstick is the Wet n Wild Stop Light Red. It has been on the market for a very, 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 very long time, because it was a long time ago that I bought it. Anyways, whatever. Today, that kind of relates to what we're talking about today. Today, we are talking about Wet n Wild, who, they, I mean, they're, they've been around for a long time. And back in my learning about makeup days when I was just a wee little baby waver in the 80s, 90s, 80s, yeah, oh my gosh. That was a long time ago. Getting sidetracked. They've been around for a while. And when I was growing up, they were not the best quality. They were what us teens and tweens kind of discovered, like first started learning how to play with makeup when we only had a few dollars and would just go get what we wanted, like the few little things that we could afford. And that's where our money would like kind of go the furthest. Well, I gotta say over the last 15, 20, whatever years, they have seriously upped their game. So today, the main focus of the new stuff that I got here from Wet, that's backwards, Wet and Wild are is the new, I mean, it's all over YouTube, but it's new to me and new-ish to the market. It still says new on the bottle, that's what I'm going with, <sighs> is the Photo Focus foundation. This was $5.99, I believe. They actually have it in a color with bright undertones. The shade range is amazing. So we are trying this out today. You can see me put it on. I will do a little wear test, kind of check in at the end of the night, really informal. Ah, so we are trying out that. For the most part, I am only using Wet n Wild products. We are going to do some color icon blush. We're gonna do some contour stuff that is all Wet n Wild. And we're gonna play in these. These are new for their lighting spring collection. Their highlighters, Mega Glow highlighting powders, limited edition. These are gorgeous. Stop the video right now and just go buy them. Like, spoiler alert. But if you want to be a little bit more informed of a consumer, keep watching and then go and buy them because they're pretty dang awesome. So if you would like me to try on some of these new, newer, new-ish Wet n Wild products and see what I think of them and the wear time and all that jazz, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, so we are testing out some Wet n Wild new products and seeing if we can get a full face. I'm actually not doing the eyes in this tutorial because I only have one Wet n Wild eye palette and it's all shimmery. I just kind of use it for accent colors every now and then. And I have other plans for the eyes. But anyways, we are focusing on the face. I just recently got the Wet n Wild focus on it um photo focus foundation i got it in the color shell ivory it is fair neutral with i was highly 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 impressed with the color range that this stuff came in normally with a lot of drugstore foundations whether they be the cheaper end or the higher end if it's drugstore i have a very hard time color matching and there just doesn't seem to be a lot in my color range I mean, just fair and actually having um, undertones. So I'm really excited that Wet n Wild has got on the game of having undertones in their foundation. So super jazzed. All right. This is not the first time I've used it. So I have a few thoughts. It does have a, a spatula applicator. I do not like that. I would totally prefer a pump. Um, or even almost not a spatula. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm a little like, eh, about the whole spatula situation. Um, and, uh, another kind of thought on this is I cannot stand the way it smells. Um, obviously I can get past it, 
but um, if you are sensitive to smell, it smells like straight up paint or speckle or like you are in Home Depot mixing up a can of paint. It is pretty painty. However, the paint does, the paint fumes, fumes, the fumes uh, do dissipate and after uh, a minute or two, I don't notice it at all. Now, I know that a lot of people, um, when they are testing out foundations, will do like one half of the face with a sponge and then the other half with a brush. Um, a sponge is my preferred technique. Uh, occasionally, I'll get a wild hair up my buns and try a brush and always regret it. I just, I, I don't know. I just kind of don't like it. So this is a pretty, um, full coverage, but goes on very, uh, smooth. It doesn't tend to cake up on me, which is amazing. And it is buildable. One of the reasons that I do like the sponge is that it kind of shears out a foundation, but makes the coats thinner. And to me, that makes it more buildable. I would rather do a few thin coats rather than a thicker coat. So, so there we are with one coat. I can tell that I am wearing foundation. It is not a second skin. And my nose is still some of the discoloration on my nose is peeking through. The discoloration on my cheek is, I can't tell if you can see it in the monitor, but in person, it is for the most part covered up. There's slightly a little bit there and I can see a little bit of my freckles peeking through or I don't know at this point if they're even freckles or age spots or whatever. So I'm going to go in with um, a second coat, but not all over. I am perfectly fine with um, my face having a little bit of its natural colors. I have tested out building it up and it does get, I'm going to say high medium to full coverage. So there we are. I can still see a little bit of texture down here, but the color is looking great. It is so far not sticking into any of my lines. It will, like every other foundation I have, uh, sink into my wrinkles here, my wrinkle here and there. And I'll kind of show you how I deal with that in just a minute. I do not have the new Photo Focus concealer. I do have another Wet n Wild concealer. Um, I don't know why I didn't get the mainly because I have 800 concealers. So I thought I really don't need another concealer. I do have this Come Correct. There we go. I do have the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. This is a very um, emollient, I think is a good word. It's one of those kind of more, more almost sticky concealers. And I have it in the shade, what shade? I'm sure it's, yeah, fair. This one, I do like to kind of push it in with my fingers first because I feel like it helps blend it a little better because it is that emollienty texture. I don't know if you can see, but it does kind of not spread evenly when with my fingers. I mean, I guess if I paid a little more attention to it, I could get it to but I'm just gonna go up in there with my beauty blender and blend everything in. I'm not doing the normal like highlight with my contour because I have another plan for highlighting. So we've got that in there and that really, really looks good. So far is not settling into, okay, I am so nervous about this. Where did it go? Um, I'm really nervous about this, but I'm going to try it because because we're trying new things and we're going to do it together. So I got this Wet n Wild Omega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. <gasps> I have never contoured with cream products or highlighted. Let's see how it goes. All right. Um, oh, God. Should we start out with the highlighty area? I don't really know. Okay. Yeah, we're just doing it. 
So I'm going to put some there, put some there. I'm just going to kind of pretend it's like the concealer trick. And should I do it under there? We're learning together. It feels pretty creamy, not too like some creamy products can seem kind of almost greasy. But this doesn't. Texture on the skin seems to be okay. Seems to be blending all right. Not as easy as a concealer to blend because concealers are a little, you know, thinner consistency, but not hard to blend. This is kind of cool. So, so good. Of course, now here comes the scary part. <laughs> Um, I'm not doing all of everything because I don't normally. So we are just gonna just do that. Oh God, I feel so, is that too much? I don't know. They don't look the same. We'll see. The color on this is pretty cool. It's, um, it actually is a cool-ish toned brown not too dark oh 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 god i'm scared okay when i rub it out it's looking a little well it looked a little orange now maybe not so much uh, let's just see what happens oh god i'm scared thank goodness for other beauty bloggers who know how to do this stuff or I would have really no idea what I'm doing. I just see them kind of blend and go upward. So thank you every other beauty blogger who has shown me how to do, sort of, how to do this. I don't know, I'm confused. That side seems cool. It's like it's there, but it's not there, which is kind of what you want. Ugh. I feel like that brought out my line of demarcation. Like maybe I rubbed off some of the foundation, but I only see it from far away. Close, it looks great. Hmm. I do like this stuff, the way this stuff blends out. I think I'm going to need a little more practice. That just... I'm going to need some more practice at it, but I'm willing to do that because I love playing with makeup, so... Yeah. What is next? Let's set some of this stuff. I don't have a wet and wild setting powder. So we are going to go in with the e.l.f. Uh, translucent powder. I hear this has a new um, packaging, which could be really cool because I hate the packaging on this. It makes a mess everywhere. That concealer and stuff hasn't set it, settled into my under eye lines. Holy cow! How is that even a thing? Wow! Okay, I'm a little, I'm impressed. I did just re kind of pounce and then I'm gonna pick up some of the powder. Awesome! Okay, now up here, yeah, I have a wrinkle right here. I think because of the way I have my settings on my new camera, it kind of does this like little blurry thing, which is awesome, but it doesn't show you all the details and I don't know how to fix it, I'm sorry. But I do have um, a line right here and two lines up here and every foundation I've found tends to settle in there. So I'm gonna rebounce and then pick up product and kind of pounce it in there. Same thing with these ones up here. Ooh, washed out. Gonna pounce over it. And then on the other side of the sponge, I have the powder. Definitely with the powder on it now, I will say the foundation, it looks, well, it, lo it looks powdery, but that usually gets calmed down quite a bit I can still see that contour. Oh! Of course, when I put on my setting spray at the end and push it in, uh, you lose some of that powdery, powdery look. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild contour palette, contouring palette contour. And this is in the 
dulce de leche, dulce de leche, dulce de leche, dulce de leche. I'm gonna take a smallish brush. This is a Laura Geller double ended, anyways, a small brush. And we're gonna go into this brown color, tap it off because there is a ton of kickback. I'm gonna go over that area some more. I have a horrible time contouring my nose, uh, always have. Um, and every time I try to be precise about, about it, it is a big, huge fail. But if I just go along the sides of my nose, very, want, if I just go along the side of my nose, that's okay. Just fluffy brush, not being precise. really use that light powder but I do like this all right let's get some blush on the scene I am using the color icon if you have not tried these color icon wet n wild blushes they're like three dollars and I love them okay now that I just spent almost an hour on the phone and am completely running late let's get back into it I did do my brows off uh, while I was on the phone because I was just trying to move things along Anyways, what was I talking about? I was talking about blush, which was so hard not to put on while I was on the phone because I absolutely love, you know I love my blushes. So this is in Fantastic Plastic Pink. This is a wonderful pink color. It does have a slight silver, um, it looks more like small glitter rather than a shimmer or a sheen, but I don't notice glitter particles on my face, which is good. I love how subtly it goes on at first and just the way it builds up is awesome. I really cannot speak enough good things about the color icon blushes. They're beautiful. Sometimes if I have a long day, um, I will put it in my purse and take it with me. Um, then again, I am one that uh, isn't into subtle blushes or natural looking blushes. I, you know, I like my pink blushes and I like them to be there. Really, 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 really excited about the next product that I totally didn't think I was going to be able to get, but I did. I did get my hands on the new spring collection. I'm not sure if there's any more. I only know of these two and I was able to get my hands on both of them at Walgreens. I think they were um, either $2.99 or $3.99. Uh, I was using points, so I didn't pay that amount. Um, anyways, where are they? Uh, this is Lilac to Reality. Like that. I don't know why I'm covering that up. Yeah, that's why. There is a nice lilac with almost a bluish shift to it with a silvery white heart in the middle. This is really cool because you can do the lilac-y one. Oh my god, it's so bright in person. And then I'm going to kind of go into the heart here. It, there it is. Look at that. Oh, and there we go. Right next to it. So there's the two. Or, of course, you can swirl them together. Oh my God, I hope it's showing up on camera, it's so pretty. Ooh. So there is the Lilac to Reality. The lilac -y one, I gotta say, is a little like, ooh, a little out of my comfort zone, but I had to have it, and I did try it on the other day, just on the tops of my cheeks, and I was really impressed. It didn't look too young or too crazy or unnatural. I mean, it looked a little unnatural, but just absolutely beautiful. I really wasn't sure about that one, uh, but oh my Lord, it's stunning. So this other one is the Sweetest Bling. There, that one is. It is more of a peachy pink. 
and I am swatching the outside here. Let's go down here. I can't, yeah, there we go. Again, I can't tell if it's showing up on camera, but in my mirror right here, it is just gorgeous. It's like a pink with almost a champagne shift to it. Now I'm gonna go into the heart, which is a little more peachy champagne-ish color. Y'all know that I stink at describing colors. It just is what it is. There is that one. Oh my God, it's just gorgeous. And then we will swirl the two together. Oh, it's so focus. It's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And let's put that one right there. Oh Lord. I really, I don't, it's not showing up in my monitor. I really hope it's showing up because it's like freaking stunning. Then I am going to go into the lilac one because we're going to try these out. We're going to like multiple ways try them out. Now I am going to swirl these together on my little Luxie. I don't know if you can see, but there is definitely some kickback. Kind of par for the course with Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to put it up here. It's so pretty. It's There is that one on my face. Uh, I am going to take, I know I don't have my eye makeup on yet, but still, because we can, I am gonna go into the center little sponge tip brush. Ooh, Lordy, there we go. Holy buckets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So that is the uh, Lilac to Reality. Oh my God. Ah! And I'm going to go into this one here, the Sweetest Bling. And I am going to go into the center, this champagne -y color, and just get a tiny little bit on like a little brush. And we're going to go down my nose. And then I'm going to do the outer pinky pink part and do top of the lip. This is a lot of highlighting for me, but it's so pretty. I can't even. Oh, my God. I really thought that the sweetest bling would be my favorite. And it's definitely the more day to day on the daily wearable. But I am completely in love with this lilac one. If you are tempted by some of the purpley lilac y highlights that are out there, go for this. Even if it's just to see how they will wear on your skin and see if it'll work for you. And then you want to invest in the higher quality, although I really don't think you need to. Uh, you can go to the more expensive ones. But oh my lord, I, I love that blush. The contour, uh, the stick. I need to practice, but I think there's hope. So here is my face. I will do a check-in at the end of the day and add it on to see how this foundation wears. Spoiler alert, it's not today, but from my history of wearing this, it wears very well. I am very happy. After I said, Everything just kind of push that setting spray into my skin. My skin looks fabulous. My, my skin looks fabulous. This is comparable to some of the other uh, foundations that I've spent 40, 50, 60 bucks on. And this was $5.99, six bucks. I think this is my new like favorite everyday foundation if I can get past the smell. So I will see you later on this evening here in YouTube land in just a few seconds with how it wore today. Talk to you later. Here is my end of the night check in and it has, I have had this on for about six hours. I did get a late start today. Let me think. No, it's really been more like eight hours. Okay. I can't count or have any sort of concept of time. So it's been about eight hours. I have worn my glasses all day. And as you can see, so there's a little bit of wear where my nose pads are, but not nearly what I get with most other foundations. So that's like, holy cow, amazing. I sort of took off my lipstick already. It's still there a little bit, but that's what happens when you wear long, lip, long wear lipstick. Anyways, I am a little greasy, like a little oily around my nose area, 
not so much in my forehead, which this is really where I have issues. Not so much in my chin, but really around my nose and my forehead gets greasy. And especially around my nose is where my trouble area is and where I really pay attention to whether something is good or not. Um, it is definitely oily in there, but it I don't have any sort of creasing. And from what I can tell, I don't have anywhere where it's actually rubbed off off which is pretty damn cool, man. Like that's, I am highly, highly impressed. It has settled into some of my nose pores, but that is really, I only notice that when I'm actively looking for problems. Coverage is still pretty good. I guess it has kind of worn down a little bit here, um, but it doesn't look like it's rubbed off. It's just kind of not quite as full E coverage. But as you can see, we're still looking pretty damn good for eight hours for, for a $6 drugstore foundation. I'm very happy. So there's my check-in. Thanks for hanging out with me and yeah, see you later. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this and the little check-in that I haven't filmed yet, but I will put it, have, it was, you just watched it a second ago. YouTube video filming is weird. Anyways, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos that will be posted right here, depending on how you're watching this, what format, phone, or TV, or a computer, or whatever. Anyways, have a great day. Kate, take care of each other. Be nice. See you next time. Bye-bye.